Reed continues the tradition of offering the highest quality, easiest to operate tools with a complete line of PE squeeze-off tools. Hydraulic models utilize a pump and piston to stop the flow of water or gas in PE pipe. Two positive stops prevent damage from overclamping. Additional tool features include aluminum construction and a two-speed hydraulic pump. The cylinder applies sufficient force to squeeze down even the largest pipe. Reed's family of PE squeeze-off tools includes PES-1 models for half-inch to one-inch pipe, PES-2 models for squeezes on half-inch to two-inch pipe, PES-4 tools for two-inch to four-inch pipe. The PES-6 models cover three-inch to six-inch pipe, and the PES-8 models squeeze three-inch to eight-inch pipe. A variety of stops used on the tools increases their compatibility with job needs worldwide. For squeeze-off of metric pipe sizes, Reed makes special stops. The PES-2 metric, PES-4 metric, PES-6 and PES-8 models feature stops for metric pipe sizes also. The following demonstration is shown using the PES-8H Hydraulic PE Squeeze-Off Tool. Prior to operating any reed equipment, carefully read the instructions and always wear the appropriate safety equipment. If replacing parts or adding accessories, refer to the reed website at www.readmfgco.com for proper selection. It is important to consider the possibility of static electricity while operating the PES-8H, especially if you are squeezing a gas line. Follow the appropriate procedures for each job performed. Due to the size and weight of the PES-8H, Reed recommends using two people for this operation. Start by placing the PES-8H onto the pipe. Allow room for the swing bottom bar. Continue by placing the swing bottom bar into place and securing it to the tool. Now insert a ground probe into moist soil. For gas service, connect the ground accessory and the static discharge alarm. The alarm sounds when static discharge has been detected. Follow inspection protocol for possible pipe damage. Now connect the pump to the cylinder. Insert the male end of the hose assembly into the cylinder coupling. Tighten the coupling fully. The main valve and the flow control valve must be closed before pumping begins. The flow control valve is sold separately and is recommended for use. Now select and position the stops based on the pipe diameter and SDR. Pay particular attention to the setting you choose for the stops. Inaccurate positioning can compromise the integrity of the squeeze-off. 8-inch SDR 11.5 is shown here. Begin bringing the ram down onto the pipe by actuating the pump handle. At or near 350 PSI pressure, the hydraulic pump changes speeds. You may notice increased resistance to pumping. When feeling this increase in pressure, pull up on the handle and continue pumping. Continue bringing the ram down onto the pipe. When squeezing, there's a maximum feed rate of two inches per minute and no more. Pause momentarily to allow stress relaxation in the pipe. 
Install the saddle clamps when the distance between the bottom of the stop and the top of the bottom bar is about one inch. Tighten the nuts, pulling both saddle clamps down. And continue pumping until 7,000 to 10,000 PSI or until the stops make contact with the bottom bar. The relief valve on the pump is designed to maintain 10,000 PSI and will release excess pressure. This completes the squeezing procedure. Now loosen and remove the saddle clamps. For retraction on the hydraulic pump, open the valve slowly. Then open the flow control valve slowly. The flow control valve allows the operator to more easily control the rate of retraction. During this process, the retraction rate is a half inch per minute maximum, no faster. In the event a flow control valve is not used, the main control valve on the pump should be slightly open, and the rate of retraction should be checked and no more than a half inch per minute maximum. By supporting the bottom bar approximately two inches above the floor of the pit, the tool weight will retract the ram and then allow the base to swing clear of the pipe. Do not support the base under the tie rods. Continue allowing the ram to retract until two inches of clearance exists between the pipe and the ram. Next, remove the ground probe. Tap the bottom bar up and swing the bar clear of the pipe. Now, remove the tool from the pipe. This completes the removal operation. Never cover a pipe that has not been inspected. Please refer to your operator's manual for reference on the use of this tool. Reed also offers the PES-6 and PES-8 in manual models. PES-6M and PES-8M. The manual models take longer to squeeze the pipe and is physically demanding on the operator. The PES-6M and PES-8M are lower priced and lighter weight than the hydraulic models. For more information on this tool or any other Reed products, go to www.readmfgco.com.